today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crooked free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content videos. And today I'm going to start a new theme week. I have done, I don't know how many, I've done a Nobla week, Kaleidos week two times I think, Lethal, did I say Menagerie? Nabla. I've done some theme weeks where I use maybe all the palettes I have from brand, maybe a lot of them. <laughs> I've done a UVS Place week as well. But this week we are digging into Ace Beauté. This is a brand that I really like the palettes I have, but I don't use them that much. I have four palettes. I have the Flare palette. Oceanic, Vintage Dawn, and Scarlet Dusk. I have done two looks, one palette with this one, Vintage Dawn. And with the Flare palette, this one I have done three looks, one palette, and a palette bingo. So this week I'm going to try to have four videos up where I use one of the palettes each and every video. And I am going to start with a flare palette because this is the first one that came out from them. And if you don't know, uh, the palette looks like this. So I have used this. It's always strange to say like a lot because not a lot if you... I've used this maybe 10 times, 8 times, 11 times, I don't know. And that is like a lot for having a lot of makeup, but for it a normal person and not a person that is on YouTube, that's not a lot. But I use, use all of these shades more than once and uh, yeah, I like this palette. I know that not everybody do it, but I'm just going to stop talk now and start to do my makeup. So I will prime my eyes and zoom you in. Okay, so first of all, what's up with this? I know exactly what's up with this. I think you can see like this one. I have lost a lot of hair since, yeah, you know what, and uh, it's starting to grow out, but it's like this awkward face. It's not only baby hair, because I usually don't have this much baby hair, so it's hair that it's coming back, finally. And the lighting... I need to buy new lights. My studio lights are getting old. And do you hear my share as well? Everything is... Screaming. <laughs> so okay, I am going to do, I don't want to call it neutral look, no, <laughs> I'm going to take cider, I'm going to start with that one, and I also want to take, I think hazelnut and acorn and biscotti, but I'm not completely sure, but I will start with cider at least, and take it in my crease, and I have done some of my favorite looks with this one, I love this corner uh, like these and the pumpkin shade this is an amazing orange and this mirage and firefly are amazing shimmers i know that not everybody love ace beauty's formula i have nothing against it and it feels a bit like 50 50 if you like it or not but i haven't had any problems with it and uh, yeah, I don't know. I can only like, I think that they're, I can never remember the name. They have some like Paradise Collection or something. I never looked this up. And I don't think those palettes were the same quality. But I don't know because I know a lot of people doesn't like this either. But I really do. I think it has a good mix of uh, different shades and you can do like a warm tone look, you can do a cold tone look. So I really like this palette but I know it's not for everyone. But one thing that does makes me a little bit sad, before you could buy Ace Brute from Beauty Bay but they aren't on Beauty Bay anymore. I don't know why. I really want the Nostalgia palette, but yeah, 
I don't know if I want to order it from the US. Okay, so I'm just starting like this. And I think I might want to take, or maybe I should take. Because I want to deepen this down, then I want to take acorn, I think, on my outer lid, and then take biscotti on my lid. Is that maybe a boring, like, look? It might be. But you know what? It's going to be so colorful the rest of the week, so... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do something that colorful. And I think I want to do something a little bit more dark. But then the question is... Hazelnut or acorn? I will take hazelnut and deepen down my crease and we will see. I might take this on my lid as well. We just have to wait and see. Do you see this amazingness? These are some amazing shades. And this is like right up my alley. It's getting so hot in here. I have closed the door so the cats can't be in here but I also has the window closed in here because I don't want people to hear me <laughs> from outside. I don't know how much they will hear though but I think they can hear me. I am kind of okay with my boyfriend hearing me. Filming a video and speak English. Not the whole video, but I can be a little bit concentrated when he hears me, but people outside, no. Okay, so I think I'm happy like this, and then I think I actually will take acorn and then take biscotti on my lid, and I know now that I will mix warmer and dark warmer and darker cool this brush is not that good cool and warm shades but you know what here on my channel I do whatever I feel like they have quite a lot of kick up these shades but and quite a lot of fallouts, but I don't care because I always do my base after I've done my eyeshadow, but if you don't do that, maybe you should be a little, little bit more careful. I think it would look so freaking cool to have like a firefly to this look, but I'm not. I can't use like firefly all the time, so... Uh, I'm not going to do that. Do you know what? I think I might want to swatch. So I'm going to swatch <laughs> Biscotti and Bayberry. Bayberry. And then we do this test. I don't think this will go with the look. I think this will. And this has like has like a little bit of gold to it. And pinkish. So I think it looks better like swatched than in palettes. I will actually take biscotti. And put it here. And maybe it will enhance like the gold in it now when I'm taking it next to the orange shades. Do I know what I'm talking about? Probably not. And I think that the shadows, uh, shadows, the shimmers in this palette works really good without a glitter primer or a um, glitter glue but of course if you want them to be more intense you can use it I never think like a gl glitter shimmer shade I don't know why 
I have such troubles with that. I never think like a shimmer shade is bad if you need a glitter primer, but I always like to not use it and still get some effect from it. If you get what I mean, and I'm just babbling as normal. I know my back is killing me. I'm sitting like a bag of potatoes. I like my posture. It's so bad. My boyfriend always teases me that I'm going to look like like I'm going to be bent at the middle when I'm older. But you know what? Right now I don't care. When my back starts to hurt really bad, maybe I care then. I like this eyeshadows. I like this a lot. I think it's cool. I think it's me. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts. I fix my base. For the under eyes, I think I will do the same, but I think I will pop, I hate this word, sherbet, 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 in my inner corners, actually. And we will see about that. So I will fix this face and then come back. For my under eyes, I think I will just go in with a hazelnut and take it on my whole lower lash. Okay, why do I like this? Kind of much. Okay, I'm just going in with the dark brown I have here. Acorn. And just taking it a little bit here just to connect these. Okay, so I will actually use a brush. It's not dirty, hopefully. <laughs> and take this green one. Sherbet. 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 I want to say it's sorbet, but that is not the same thing. Or is it sherbet and sorbet? Some things school doesn't teach you, okay? So I'm going in with this and just taking it in my inner corner. And I don't know how much this will show up. I actually like to have like an inner corner highlight. There is a matte shade, it's just that I usually don't think about it. But when I do, I actually do like it. I think it gives like another fun, maybe not edge, but it adds something that is a little bit more fun to the look. So, yeah. Okay, I will put on mascara, something in my wash line, and the lipstick, and then I come back. For my watch line, I took NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner in Shebang and on my lips I took an oldie. Love this. It was limited edition. It's Hanging Rock from Nabla. It's the most stupid decision that Nabla has ever taken, I think. And yeah, I really like this look. I like how the sherbet, the green one, looks in my inner corner. I think that was a fun touch to it and also I really like this. Is this kind of neutral? Yes it is. Is it okay to like neutral looks? Yes it is. So I'm really happy with this look. So this is my itchy nose. The first look I'm doing in my Ace BT week with the flare palette and a little repeat maybe I used cider hazelnut, acorn, biscotti, and sherbet. And I think this palette is good. I know that not everybody thinks that, but I think it's good. I think it is a really good mix with colors, and I think this is a very versatile palette, and I really like it. And I hope you really like this video, and I hope that you are looking forward to my HBT week. The next video, I will see when that will come up something this week I will use the oceanic palette it's going to be something totally different from what I have on my eyes now 
So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!